All right, folks, so this video is a follow up on last week's video about the DIY Area Trinity gimbal. And I made that video because I wanted to know if you were interested in seeing more about this system. And you were, you wanted to see raw footage and you also wanted to know how to set it up. So in this video, I got some raw footage shot in 24 frames per second. And we're gonna compare it to the gimbal, the Shoe and Weave Less, to see which one is more stable. After that, I will show you how to balance this system perfectly. All this in this video. Alrighty, so if you are not familiar with the Mini T or the DIY Airy Trinity, you can go back and watch the video from last week where I kind of introduce what this system is. Then you come back and see the raw footage in this video and how to set it up. All right, folks, um, there's kind of one drawback to it, and that is not having an external monitor on the system because I can't frame up the shot perfectly at all times when I'm using this system because as you see sometimes the gimbal and this <laughs> mounting plate will be in the way from the um, from the actual screen on the camera I would love to have an external monitor sitting right here on the side of the handle but I haven't figured out how to do that yet but I will try to see if there is some way to mount it on here and get it to work. And that is the big advantage the Weeble S has because I have the monitor sitting right here so I can frame up the shot at all times. But there is some other advantages which we're going to talk about after we've seen the raw footage. So let's take a look at the raw footage that I shot and compare them side by side the Minity, the DIY Air Trinity to the Weeble S and see which one is more stable. So all the clips here are shot in 4K, 24 frames per second on the GH5 with the 8 to 18 millimeter lens on. Yes, I just want to show you the last clip side by side so you can see them for one more time and then we'll see which one is better. Here we go. Alright, so that is pretty interesting. I actually think that the Minity here does a better job than just the gimbal. And there is a couple of advantages with the system. I can much easier point this in the direction I want and put it into things and just spin it around than I can with a normal gimbal. Because I have the swivel right here which makes a much easier transition than it does on the gimbal where I kind of have to turn my arms. So therefore, I think the DIY Airy Trinity is a bit smoother than the Weeble S. Not saying that the Weeble S is bad, it is just a bit better on this one, I think. So there is a couple more advantages with the system. I recorded this with another camera, and the thing you will see here is that my position of my body is much better when I'm working with the DIY Airy Trinity than with the the gimbal. With the gimbal and the low shots, I'm much more bent down. My back is just crumpled around. Where on the minute here, my back is straight. I can point it down so I won't hurt my back as much 
on this one, then working with a gimbal for a long time. All right, let's go through how to set it up. It is not that hard, but there's a couple of steps you have to do. Here we go. Setting this thing up is kind of done in three steps. First, you have to balance the gimbal, then you have to balance the glide cam, and then you have to balance it like a mini Trinity, like the, you would balance an Aero Trinity on the horizon. So here's the Weeble S, and what you do, you take the base plate from your glide cam or your fly cam or whatever you're using, and you mount it right in the center of the plate. And I marked it right here at number six on this uh, chart here. But once you got it on here, you have to balance the gimbal. And you balance that just like you balance a gimbal normally. I won't go with that because I reckon you already know how to do that. So when it is balanced, you put it on the gimbal. All right, for the next step, I reckon you take a light stand and put the glide cam onto there because then it's much easier and you won't hurt your back. Then we take the gimbal and put it onto the glide cam. We just slide it in there and I had it at number six. So it is dead center. All right, so now we have to find the upright position. It has to be leveled this way and it has to be leveled this way. So let me just show you. On the glide cam here, the Devin Graham, I have to turn these knobs to kind of get it to be level. And that is one of the good things about having a light stand because then you can just easily turn these knobs and just look at the, at the glide cam from both sides and see if it is about to be straight. All right, so the next step is we turn the gimbal on. And now we have to find the last step is the horizon. It has to be level. So all I gotta do is to take extend it out and then I slide this one in. All right, so now it kind of stays level with the horizon. And that's how we want it. So that means our Weebless Mini Trinity is balanced. See, it works perfectly. So this is how you balance the Weebless Mini Trinity. If you got any questions, just drop them down below. So there is one thing that I really like about this system is that the way you work with it is kind of dancing with it. You can just point it in any direction and because you got the counterbalance here on the back, the system does not feel that heavy. Outside the office just pointing the, the gimbal in any direction kind of just dancing with the system and this is the thing that I love about this is the feel of it it just feels so smooth and flawlessly when you work with the DIY Airy Trinity so I really understand why the guys at Hollywood love the Airy Trinity and the way they can work with this massive system and put anything on there and point it in any direction they want to. But um, yeah, that is the DIY Airy Trinity. And if you want to test it out, I highly encourage to do it because it's a fun thing and it's really great to work with. All right guys, that is the video about the DIY Airy Trinity. If you want to see more, just put it down in the comments and I will create some more videos for you guys in the things you're interested in. All right, if you want to see more about this shoe and we bless, you can also watch my full series on that. The link is right here. And as always, thank you so much for the support you give me here on this channel. And if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can notify it when I upload a new video. That is it guys, stay creative and go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time, bye.